enough. Thank you so much, Mike. Your last name's probably more fucked up to say than mine, but it's okay. We're on the same page. Las Vegas, how's everybody? It's good? Right. It's not too long ago we just moved here to Las Vegas. It's amazing how many of you people all know the metric system down here, you know? Everybody you talk to on the street, they actually know what an ounce and a gram and a kilo is. It's like instantaneous. I just found out as soon as someone smells, do you smoke weed? The whole crowd, woo! Holy shit. It's like when Instagram came out. How many of your weed head friends got all fucking excited? Son of a bitch, I can have weed delivered to my house? Instagram, download that shit now. It's kind of funny. Found out the school zones here are 15 miles an hour in some areas for the slow kids, 25 in the others. Kind of goes hand in hand with the UNLV and everything, all the 50th ranked in the nation. You guys believe that? 50th ranked in the school district. Makes them little fuckers run faster. Speed it up to 25 and hit them. Nobody gives a shit because they only have to write their name on the top to get into UNLV. That's what I heard. It's okay. I'm glad you guys are here. I was 8 pounds 6 inches at birth. You guys believe that? I'm now 200 pounds and 4 inches. Belly gets bigger, dick gets smaller. It sucks. It's okay. I started shaving my pubes like a lot of people do because it made it look bigger. It's kind of cool. Now I'm in my 40s. It started to grow back and it's coming in gray. So it's really weird when I chase my wife around the house at night. It looks like ghost dicks chasing her. It's in a cloud. <laughs> Just kind of sitting there and that happens. But I have been married for 23 years. If you guys understand that or believe that even, I know. That's nice to clap, but you can stop now because the sex did a long time ago. It's kind of cool, though, when people ask you how you guys met, you know, what introduced you, what, what got you turned on? I'm like, God, my wife introduced herself to me and said I'm bi. I'm like, oh, fuck, say no more. I love it already. A year and a half later, I found out she meant polar. Ooh. But like all guys, I wanted a threesome, right? You want a threesome all the time. We all do. So it's kind of cool. If I take her meds from her, I can fuck a different woman every night of the week. It's kind of cool. If I double them up, I can fuck the same woman, but a different person right then, too. It's kind of cool. You know, a little psycho in the head, freak in the bed. Fucking going to happen. You guys are like that. I had kids at a young age, too. That's how come we got married. My wife came up to me and her, you know, she says, hey, I'm pregnant. It's her way of proposing. Been happy ever since. So I had a kid. <laughs> so having kids at a young age is kind of fun. I used to take my son to school with me and mess around with each other back and forth. You call each other names, you know, stupid things like dummy, dipshit, retard, whatever you get to. One day my son caught me off guard. He said, hey, Dad, you're a faggot. I'm like, really? You understand I fuck your mom, right? It's kind of funny because he usually stops conversation. But now every time he invites friends over, he introduces me as this motherfucker is my dad. It's a good kid, though, because I found out that, you know, pregnant sex is the best. If you guys aren't appreciating a pregnant woman having sex with them, damage is already done. I did go to biology class, and I found out that you can't make twins, so just keep pounding away. It's kind of funny, too, because I found out that me and my son, we've butted heads ever since he was in the womb, you know? It's no big deal. I'm surprised he didn't come out with an indent right there. He fucking came out and hit me on the head, and how do you like it, Dad? <laughs> I don't know, your mom did, but it's okay. <laughs> kind of cool, I found out fun games to ever play is never wrap your dick in bacon and, cheat, er, and tease a pit bull. Yeah, you got circumcised once, they'll take more than that the second time, trust me. It's not fun, there's lots of fun games to play. What do you play, man, anything good? Nothing? No? Yes, you do. We'll figure it out in a little bit, so. You guys liking the Vegas heat here? Actually, moving here, it's kind of weird. I actually had to start wearing underwear because now my balls stick to my knees if I don't. It sucks. And I say yes to my knees because being in my 40s, I do a lot of things that a lot of people do. Uh, one of them is really is sitting on my balls lately, and it sucks. You guys that are young, while your shit's high and tight, enjoy the hell out of it because before you know it, I'm going to hit 60, and I'm probably sure I'm going to step on them. It's kind of like a woman, you know, when you were younger, a girl would like roll up socks, tube socks, and put in their bra to make it look like they had big tits. They're just practicing because when they get in their 40s, they've got to roll up their tits and put them back in the bra too. It's the same shit. It's okay. There's nothing wrong with a 32 long on a woman. I love it. As you get older, you learn that you actually have to part the nipples to eat the pussy. True story. You guys, young people are like, I hope that's not the case. Really? Don't ever walk in on your grandma naked in the bathroom. You'll find out it's a true story. That happens. How much time we got left? One more minute. I'm excited for that. 
I like telling a lot of good jokes, especially religious jokes. Being from Utah, everybody like assumes that I'm Mormon because I fit the description, which is kind of funny because they usually like, no, I'm not. But then it is cool when you get the little Mormon, areas, Mormon missionaries knocking on your door. They always ask you, have you heard the word of the Lord today? And I said, yeah, I just said Jesus Christ when you little fuckers knocked on my door. It's kind of cool. And every time you do say that, they always get mad and say, you know, you really need to find Jesus. And I actually do. There's always, if you look between the tits of a Mexican girl, Jesus is always hanging right there. And if you ever notice, he always has something for the left nipple because he's just hanging there like this. It's a true story, and I appreciate you guys laughing. I'm going to go get my wife's panties and rip them off because they're constricting my balls. Thanks, John.